everyone what is good welcome back to the channel this is silver hyena coming at you with extra frizzy hair i mean ugh, this texas humidity is it does not like my hair at all i mean look at this <laughs> it's horrible <sighs> no amount of pantene is saving this Anyways, what I have going for today's video, um, aside from rants about my hair, of course, is I really, really want to try out this. Now then, this was from one of my previous haul videos. I will have a link to that in the description below and one of those little eye bubble thingies, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, um, those of you that have been watching me for a while know that I have a bit of a weakness for watercolor kits like this. And this one I got at five below for three twenty-five. That is a steal. Like this, it looks similar to the one that I had from uh, Hobby Lobby a while back. Although the one at Hobby Lobby didn't come with the little sponge, and this one has a water brush. So I'm very curious about that. And while we're on the subject of watercolor and painting and whatnot, um. Yeah, um, because don't we all need paintbrushes with glitter in the handle? Um, I, I know I wanted them, but of course, when I showed these to my mom, uh, she's like, I don't want them. And I, <laughs> she's a self-proclaimed art snob, or, or art supply snob is more like it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I, I think these look like fun. But let's see how much fun and how much functional they are. So, um, yeah, let's just get to that. Okay, so here we are. Oh, I should probably fill this up and, oh, of course, just in time for my AC to turn on. <sighs> what impeccable timing. Give me a minute. Alrighty, here we go. Water brush is filled, air conditioning still firing, but I don't particularly fancy being roasted, so I'm just gonna deal with it. So I'm gonna move these aside for the time being. And this is also the watercolor pad that I had picked up at Five Below. So I, I really am curious to see how well this watercolor paper holds up. Because, uh, as you can see, this is a good beefy pad. It's spiral bound and 40 pages. And the paper, I mean, that, that's some decently thick paper. Yeah, it is finally time to try these out, and oh my gosh, I am so excited but so nervous because I do not want to be disappointed. I mean, look at this. I love the case. I mean, like, it comes with its own mixing palette. It, it's nice and compact. Oh, I want to love this so much. Okay, so maybe not the strongest swatch I was hoping for, but but I'm holding up hope. Maybe I just did too much water. So I'm going to add more paint. And there we go. I mean, like, not perfect, but... And let's fade out. Okay, well, okay, it might be 
Oh boy, might be drying a little on the funky side. <sighs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna finish swatching these out. I'll see what they look like once they're dry, and then uh, go from there. Also, this uh, water brush, um, one of the bristles, like, I'm not even sure if this is showing up on camera, but uh, it, it, it's, it's being a rebel. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> Okay, and here we are. I have to say that I was really hoping that the pigment would be better, but what can I expect for $3.25? Even still, I mean, like, while it's definitely cheap and not the best, it's not terrible either. Once again, I want to think that this is a case of, well, maybe the swatches didn't turn out that great, but the illustration will turn out much better, so here's crossing our fingers for that, and I have a hard time crossing my fingers actually, so I hope, oh boy, maybe I should have done something else. But anyways, well, this may not be the fanciest set in the universe. This would make a nice sketching set or, or a travel cat, kit. Tra travel cat too, I guess. Um, <laughs> uh, this is what I get for filming at midnight. Um, anyways, one thing that this thing did come with and the reason why I didn't throw this away is because they actually came with little drawing prompts. Day one, recreate a memory that brings you joy. Day two, create a piece as you play your favorite song. Okay, the problem with that one is I don't want to get copyright strikes, um, so I'm gonna have to nix that one. Uh, create an image of yourself as your spirit animal. I've already done that. Just look at the avatar on this channel. Um, show the different sides of you in one image. Create a bouquet of flowers with each flower representing your friends and or family. Hmm. I, I think I'm gonna go with day one. Just recreate a memory that brings you joy. Oh boy. Now I've committed to it. Have to follow through. Oh boy. Well, um, might as well get started on that. Okay, so taking that prompt into consideration, I immediately went into my photo albums to find something to use. Now, I kinda ended up using that spirit animal prompt too, even though I wasn't planning on it. But I found this picture, I'll have it show up on screen now. Look at that, oh, I still miss my topaz girl. But I'd be lying if I said that she didn't bring me joy. Topaz was there for me during the good times and she really, really helped through the really bad times. I won't go into too much detail, but it was a time in my life where I was falling down a dark negative spiral that I've only recently begun climbing out of. My Topaz girl was there for me and she always had a thing for sniffing at my face, especially if I just put on lip gloss. I don't know what it was, but she just loved it. Anyways, let's get into these paints. I was, uh, I love the compact little kit, the reasonable price, the water brush, but the pigment, Oh boy, the swatches did not lie. Overall, the colors are weak. 
Even the artist's loft watercolors were brighter than these. However, give five below credit where credit is due. These did not have that kind of chalk texture that artist loft has. But I just found the pigment weak. I think Crayola and Crazy Art had stronger overall color. As for mixing, well, that's difficult to tell when the pigment is so weak. But I was able to make it work enough. Back to the case, I do love and appreciate the built-in palette. Now let's talk about these glitter brushes. The bristles were stiff. Very stiff. I'm not really sure that these were designed for watercolors since the brushes didn't really hold much water. And because of the aesthetic that I wasted $5 for, I really don't want to try using this with acrylics since, well, I don't want to damage them. I mean, performance-wise, they were nothing spectacular. Entertainment-wise, I'd give them a solid 8 out of 10. It's a functional fidget toy. Kinda. How about the paper? Well, it did its job. Not the best I've used, but not the worst. And for only $5, I'd say it's worth it. Although, I plan on putting it through the ringer one of these days. But for now, as it stands, this is a pretty good value. So, good on you, Five Below. Feel free to post about your own interesting Five Below finds in the comments below. Alright, I, I have to be careful with this because it's still wet and all that. Um, overall thoughts? Okay, the pigments weren't very good and layering was... Ugh, woof! However, it is very inexpensive and I like the case, I like the, the separated mixing palette in there. Like the little sponge and also the fact that it comes with a water brush that is very small, it's compact. So, like, like the paints, I mean like I rate them mediocre at best. I mean like the paints, ugh, I wanted to love them so much because I love the, the, the little kit it comes in, but ugh, the paints, I'm being generous here when I say 3 out of 10. The paints themselves. I mean, Artist Loft was better. There. <clears throat> I said it. But, like, what you could do is get, get this, gut the paints, and fill in your own. I mean, like, I know that my dad did that with a watercolor set that I do have it's just buried somewhere and I really don't feel like digging it out but despite how not spectacular these are I still enjoyed using them I, I know it's like the the artist loft I was just getting frustrated and angry even though they uh, like I, I don't know what it is maybe it was just the fact that I was painting my beloved topaz girl so that, that could be a factor. Eh, I don't know. It's like this, this is what I get for filming really late at night. I am a creature of the night after all. Anyways, overall, like I, I would give the, the kit as a whole a 6 out of 10, but the paints themselves only get a 3 out of 10. The reason why I'm going 6 out of 10 overall is because of the compact design and the price. However, like I said, just get the kit, get the paint, fill in your own, you're good to go. Subscribe to the channel for more helpful tips like that! Okay. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and I just hawk the whole subscribe angle. So, uh, go, go, go do that. Go do that. Mm -hmm. Did you do it? Gosh, I hope so. Anyways, with all that being said, this is Silver Hyena, signing off. 
stay creative, everybody. Bye!